guys, Tars22 here. Today I am going to be taking apart a keyboard and a printer. Um, cool, I'm going to move the camera in just a little bit. And hope that it doesn't stop recording. So this certain this this specific keyboard is a gateway keyboard. Um, it's got screws all along the outside here, and then it's got one screw right there that I can see in the middle inside of it. Um, let me grab. something to put all the screws in so that way I don't lose them because every little bit of metal helps And if you were wondering what the other side of it looked like, it's kind of a rundown keyboard that has been sitting in my truck bed for a couple weeks. And is currently filled with water because it snowed several times over those couple weeks. Um, if stream does stop, I apologize. I will try and get it back up as soon as I can. Ever since I had to make cuts to my internet connection, because Bills, it's been a bit iffy with connect with staying connected to Twitch. So, I should probably grab another bowl specifically for the keys. The uh, keyboard keys. Dang, 40 bucks a month? I'm sorry, man. Hours was, I think, 190. But after we cut the internet, it dropped to, I think, like 120. Uh, just for the cable and phone. And again, I do live in an area where it is a bit harder to uh, get internet to. Not like a mountain or anything, but... And I flip it over. See if I missed any keys. Dude, they they are. Sometimes breaking the thing you're taking apart helps get it apart. So there's the back of it. That's what the inside looks of it so far, with more screws to take out. 
and that's where the wire would have been that connected it to the keyboard if I had not already cut it off. And you can tell here that it's uh, aluminum wire that's partially connecting it. But another part of it here in Utah, as far as I know, now I could be wrong, correct me in comments or Twitch if I'm wrong, because I sometimes am, um, is the church takes a percentage of all bills and stuff here in Utah. The Mormon church. So, all rates, all taxes and shit went up because of the Mormon church, and yeah. Here in Utah, it's kind of like everything is run, yes, by the government, but because the Mormon church has such a high stance in this state, uh, the Mormon church also kind of runs everything. Whether it's politics, whether it's religion. If you're from Utah, you know what I'm talking about because... Everything revolves around Sunday. Everything revolves around Sunday. Like, laws are stricter on Sundays, and... Although many football games are played on Sundays and stuff, if you... Like... I don't know the legal limit for drinking here in Utah. I think it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or something. I don't know though. So again, I could be wrong, correct me in comments. Um, but they lower the legal drinking and they lower everything on Sundays. So it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to be pulled over. It's a lot easier to go to jail. It's a lot easier to get tickets. All right. break everything. There's the metal back plate that I can then turn into my local scrapyard for sheet metal. Here is the wiring, the technical plate thing with the key with the this thing still attached. The the board don't can't brain at the moment here is everything else this is a nice little rubbery mat Just give a little ASMR to you I guess I don't know Here's another little rubbery mat with little symbols and shit on them, which unfortunately I can't scrap, I can't use. I might actually use this as part of a art project. That though went into the wrong bin. Um. I may also use the keys uh, as part of an art project. And I am going to be setting up an Etsy soon. Um, well, I actually have already set up the Etsy. I'm going to be posting stuff on that Etsy soon of art projects that I have done 
and my wife has done. Um, some of it's going to be wire sculptures, some of it's going to be resin art, some of it's going to be resin wire sculptures, art, whatever. Um, if you want to check that out, I will leave a link either in this video or the next, um, or the next one, whenever I do it, of me just taking stuff apart to what the Etsy site is. Now, cool thing is, these don't just fall out. You have to push them out. But again, here's a little more ASMR for you. these space bar just popped out. I might actually not uh, do anything with this because it is covered in hair and gross bits. So that's just going to be thrown away. Um, as well as the Yeah, <laughs> cause, to, yeah, honestly, the uh, ASMR creators I know they that I watch they uh, they edit down their stuff a lot to sound better when they're when it's posted. Um, but this I might do something with because it's not. actually split it in half and do stuff with it. Okay, I'm gonna do that later when I'm not worried about breaking shit. Okay, now the bigger um, the paper thing? The thing that I just threw away um, was the backing to the keyboard. I'm not sure what paper thing you're talking about. I'm sorry. This is just uh, sheet metal. Oh. This thing? Um, it's the plastic um, keyboard wiring signal thing that's in between the that was in between this that means it's just turned noon cool um, and the keys because every little dot you see here was a keystroke is where a key would be on the keyboard that would then send the notifications to the part you plug into your computer and then it would send it on forward and give whatever letter you pushed on it and stuff was so yeah that's what's in pretty much every keyboard is this little thing unless you have a smart keyboard or a bluetooth keyboard in which case it's slightly different not sure exactly how those work but Uh, unfortunately, no, but I am planning, I'm not a small parts engineer, but I am planning on going back to school for biomechanical at some point here. So I started it before COVID hit and then stuff just kept coming up and I couldn't ever get back to it because they stopped the program once COVID hit and I, they started the thing up again, but I have to wait until next semester and Anyways, so next thing here is the printer. Um, 
glass bit, foldy bit, screwy bit, right there. It started it back up a few years, uh, like last year, two years ago or something, but I just, everything just kept coming up, so I never went back. <laughs> Alright, apologies if I can't read chat for a second. I sat back down to look at the underside of everything. So I can take apart more screws. That's not out yet. You can hear my dogs in the back, or one of my dogs in the background. She is laying on her bed in the other room, exhaling and sighing like she's depressed about something, but I don't know what she'd be depressed about. She just got back from a WALK. There's the bottom printer portion part thing. I'm not going to act like I know what's going on here because I, I don't know. I don't even know where the next screw is to take out. foldy bit off so the next two screws are inside of here I'm gonna move that chair because I'm gonna trip on it if I don't Sorry if this is loud, I'm going to take this part off. Which on the top just has foam insulation, plastic, and plastic. covering for the power with guess what more screws now I could get a lot more out of this if I really wanted to with the gold palladium and all that fun stuff but I personally don't really care too much about getting all the gold palladium and everything out of it So I am probably never going to. Oop. I'm caught. Give me that screw. So there's that bit with the little screen here. Another motherboard under there, which I could take out, and I might. Just because I might put this in an upcoming art project that you will see on Etsy.
Um, coming up in other live streams slash YouTube videos. Um, I have two more microwaves, another printer to take apart. One of the microwaves actually got donated to me to take apart uh, since the last video. And I'm kind of excited about taking it apart because I have taken apart a lot of microwaves in my day, but never one with a turny twisty do on the front. Now I know this is wiring of some sort right here. I don't know if it's copper, I don't know if it's aluminum, I don't know, so don't hold me to what that is. It could be brass too, for all I know. Um, come on, I can feel you want to loosen. Ah, there we go. There's a little screen bit. Is the keyboard with the button still working? You can hear that. And then the next screws are inside this side here. Just as I thought it would crash, it crashed after 22 minutes, so I apologize, but again, I started it up as soon as I saw that it had gone down. A lot of this is really just breaking it as you okay, I have to be careful with this part here because it is glass and I do not wish to break it and get shards of glass everywhere especially with two dogs and my wife and a disabled mother-in-law so who she My mother-in-law can walk. She just has to use a walker. Glass. Now I do recycle the glass because if for those of you who don't know, glass is 100% recyclable. Here's the little scanner do. And I know this is another wire of some sort, not entirely sure what wiring this is, but it's some sort of wiring. <laughs> if you can see in there, if it'll focus, there's little scanny do's, dots, lights in there. Oh, come on. There we go. Right in here. That's taken apart, so now this is free. I'm gonna put that there with another thing that I'm gonna use later in a project. I'm gonna set that there. It is gonna go in my wire bucket, I just don't know if it's going to go in the aluminum or the copper or
Okay, although that is popping off and popping in half, there is one screw here. Again, sorry if this is loud. Sit down. Ah. There we go. So now here's this bit out with a aluminum wire right here. There it is. And then the whatever wire. Do I know what wire? No. Am I going to look up what wire afterwards and then probably post it in the comments on YouTube? Yes. Or in the description on YouTube? Yes. Sorry about that. There's that. Gonna go there. And this whole thing is gonna go there. I'm gonna actually bring the trash can over so I can just throw it all away immediately. Okay, where did my screwdriver go? Ah, right there. see where I'm unscrewing. Don't want to press down too hard because I don't want to break it. Another nice little motherboard board piece here. I believe that's this is aluminum here. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. Looks like they still have the colored ink cartridges in here. I'll take those out later. go. There's all that. I'm just going to take out this motherboard here. Okay, it's not a motherboard, it's a circuit board, because a motherboard means 
has memory in it. There's another one of these wires. Another piece of scrap metal. And another circuit board, which says, says Canon, and then a whole bunch of words and letters. Numbers and letters, whatever. I know it's just noon, but I honestly don't know what I'm doing awake right now. Um, oh, shoot. I did not sleep last night, and I have to go to work at 4. So, I should be asleep right now, but... Oh well. Okay, so there is something holding it down over there. So there's a big ink bit. You see how all this is black? All that is ink. Yeah, that's ink. Um, because it was originally all white, like this. But because it leaked, all this ink is now all over it. Um, this little bit, unfortunately, I can't really do anything with except for... This little spring, if y'all can see that. I'm gonna put it in with the rest of the screws. I'm just going to strip that because it doesn't want to come undone. I should nap, but... Uh, all of my body is like... Go to, not all of my body. Most of my body is like, you should be sleeping. And then another part of me is like... Nah, you're the only one home. Who knows when you're gonna, gonna, gonna? Who knows when you're gonna get the chance to make this video again? Because it's rare that I get a ch uh, time where I'm home alone and the house is quiet, or at least quiet enough for me to do this. Because right now my wife and her mother-in-law are out running errands. I guess my mother-in-law, not her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law would imply that it's my mother, but it's not my mother, it's her mother. Um, oh, I just broke something. I'm just dropping everything. Of 
cool. So there's this. There's another little spring. Two of them, actually. that hollow there's that piece with the colored ink cartridges that I got ink on my finger from actually I'm gonna recycle these because I can't I know where to recycle these so I'm gonna set those there I'll get the other one out of the trash in just a moment I will do my best not to hurt myself. Ooh, I almost just cut my shirt. Because of sharp pieces, like Hyper Luigi just warned me to look out for. There's that. And I just broke a bit. All right, there's this whole piece with a little motor on the end here that I'm going to leave attached because I don't know. This is just is all just going to go to scrap right as it is like that. Um, another one of these weird wires. Um, today I am taking apart, well, I was, I did, or I have already taken apart a keyboard. Um, right now I'm just taking apart a printer. And dropping pieces everywhere. I don't know what this little part is, but... Got the springs in it. I'm gonna put that over there. One moment. I just shot a spring across the room. Again, with two dogs, a disabled mother-in-law, and a wife in the house, you don't want to leave that sh shit lying around. Because if one of the dogs gets hurt, or your mother-in-law gets hurt, or the wife gets hurt, Bad stuff is going to happen. Another weird wire. Another motor here. Another teeny tiny little uh, circuit board there. I'm not even going to bother trying to take these off the plastic. I'm just going to leave it all together, but I am going to take off this little circuit board. 
Sorry, I should probably... This little thing. And this is just going to go to the scrapyard like this. Because I could have taken this whole thing to the scrapyard, but then the glass wouldn't have been recycled, the plastic wouldn't have been recycled, and... these wires another one of these wires screw and whatever the hell this is okay so you see these little metal bits here those are seven Sorry, keeps crashing. I'm sorry. These little metal bits here are 75% of the time aluminum. The rest of the time, steel. One way to test is to get a magnet, which I do not have with me at the moment, so I'm not going to test it. It feels rather light, though, so I'm going to assume it is aluminum, but test it later. Um, with a magnet. In fact, there's a fridge right here. I'm sorry. Again, my internet connection, because I had to cut back on my internet, is shit. Weakest magnet. It is steel. Stop fucking crashing, Jesus. Give me like five more minutes, stream, and then you can go because I am almost done. And then the only other thing to take apart is this little screw down here and that screw, but that just kind of takes more plastic out of it, so. That just kind of takes plastic out of plastic, so I'm not going to... Do that. Alright, this. It's all empty to metal. It's recycling now. Okay, so this thing, the only other thing on here that I can't take off is the battery here, or the transformer, I don't, there's a loose screw in here somewhere, um, but it's the, this thing here, which I can't really recycle anyways because Scrap Air doesn't want it, best thing I can do is just throw it in the trash, so. At the end of the day, we got a son of a bitch. We got a lot of these. Again, I'm going to look up what wires these are. We got other wires, aluminum wires. More of these wires. We got two printer cartridges. We got this little doohickey with spinny boys that are actually rather sharp, if you can see that. 
Um, we got this little screen. Got this little thing here. We got a bowl full of screws and springs. We got some buttons. We got a couple circuit boards with, again, more buttons. We got the scanner. Again, if you can see inside there, you can see all the scanny buttons and lights and shit. We got a bowl full of randomness. We got this. The printer chopsticks is what I'm going to call these. Come on, I said just like, we're on the home stretch here. So the printer chopsticks, with a little help. Okay, it's really hating me now, so I, I gotta speed through this. This thing, the where the printer cartridges go right here. Uh, bent piece of metal. And some glass. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed me taking stuff apart and the stream crashing many, many times. I hope it doesn't do that in the next one, because... Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and want to see more of me taking stuff apart, I do have two microwaves and another printer um, just outside of my back door right here. And I will be doing that hopefully soon, but I'm unsure when I'm going to be doing that. Um, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already, follow, hit the bell. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a nap now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all later, guys. Bye.